Hi there, Alistair Brown's written uh, an interesting blog post about how Twitter can be used as um, evidence of engagement around research. So in his example he was talking about a radio program uh, that mentioned some research and the reaction and response that um, happened as a result on Twitter. Uh, as part of that um, he highlighted how you could use um, TweetDeck to monitor this. One of the issues though is keeping a record of this. The Twitter search is limited to seven days and there are alternatives like um, Topsy but it's not a complete record. What you can do is um, similar idea uh, of Alistair where he was creating a search um, we can actually capture some of that information so uh, perhaps the easiest way is just to go into Twitter search and enter your term. Uh, in this case I'm gonna put in the the blog post URL um, and let's see what comes back. And we can see that it's come back with a number of responses. These are all linking to the, the post. Um, so if I click on this one, um, you can see that it's going back through to the story. So even though the, the link's obscured between behind um, uh, shortening services, Twitter still knows what you're trying to look for. Um, so I've made sure I've gone to all, um, so I want everything. And you'll see there's quite a few responses here. There are a couple of things you can do. You could print off the page. Um, you could print it as a PDF. Uh, another thing you can do is just select all the text. And I use a service called Evernote for keeping notes. And it's got a little web clipper extension. So I can just save this, the, the details to a notebook. Um, so one of the issues Alistair had um, or raised was the idea that uh, within this page the dates are relative but you see when I hover over the dates they're actual the metadata for when the 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 tweet was made is actually still stored um, so it's not entirely easily accessible but we've we've got a record of it another way of doing this is um, I've developed um, a spreadsheet uh, now this is was originally designed to capture um, event hashtags um, but you could use it, all it's doing is the same thing, it's going to the Twitter search uh, and pulling re uh, results and putting them in the spreadsheet. So I'm just going to give this spreadsheet a couple of seconds just to copy across all the scripts and I'm going to take the leap of faith. So we need to click on the button just to do some authorization so it wants to write stuff to a spreadsheet and again we can put in our search term. So in Alistair's case, you could use operators, um, but uh, such as and and or. Uh, in this case, we're just going to go for the uh, blog address. And then I need to click this one more time just to get the menu up. So I'm going to run it now. So it's going to go off and collect the results from the Twitter API and write it into a spreadsheet. So if I click on here, you see there's all the results are in here. It's got stripped out the, the metadata so into columns so we can actually see the date and time and we can get uh, summary views as well um, so we can see how many people have tweeted it who's tweeted it, who's tweeted it the most uh, and time, so what, what time of day and um, retweets so that was a, a one shot snapshot that, um, and this works for probably up to about uh, free 400 tweets. If you want more it's possible to do that. You have to go through uh, an authentication process with, with Twitter uh, to drop in some keys uh, and then you'll get up to 1500 uh, re responses in one go. If you're expecting more than that you can set up triggers and so you can run this script automatically. You don't need it to be open. It will go off and fetch the results uh, and write them into a spreadsheet. So that's that's how I would do it.